All right, we're getting into the really fun stuff now. Stick around to the end of this video to learn an advanced trick that is sure to blow your viewers away. Trust me on this one. Welcome back. Everyone who's been following along, remember there are timestamps in the description and if you missed the previous videos, you can catch up right here. Before we start class number three, do subscribe. It really helps and I'd really appreciate it. So you've gotten through the basics, the user interface, the shortcuts, and the tricks. Now it's time to put some sauce on your dessert. Spice up your basic edit by adding effects, transitions, titles, and color. If we head over to the effects browser, we can see that there are loads of clips here that allow you to put different looks and colors into your video. And the cool thing about this is you don't have to actually drag a clip onto your video to see it. You can simply select the clip that you want to preview and scrub over the effect and it'll automatically show up in the playback viewer. If we go over to the transitions tab, you see there are a myriad of options here. You simply take a transition, drag it between two clips. Now you might be asking, how do I change the duration of this transition? Well, all you do is highlight the transition, grab the edge and stretch it out to make it longer or pull it in to make it shorter. Maybe you want to manipulate the time of the clip underneath the transition. Well, all you do, if your timeline is already expanded, you'll see these two lines. Place your cursor on the two lines and move the transition to the left or the right, effectively expanding or shortening the clip underneath it. You're welcome. Now, if you want to manipulate the effect on your clip, simply go over to the inspector window. We haven't spoken about titles yet and I almost forgot. Titles can be simple or they can be animated, they can be complex and engaging. I'm just gonna show you the basics, okay? You see this clip right here with the horizon on the C? I think that's a great place to drop a title, don't you? Now I'm gonna show you the basics. There are ways that we can make this title come up from below the horizon, it can drop down to the horizon, but right now I'm just gonna use it as a straight line to place a title on and then end our video. Come over here to the titles tab and you have a number of choices, but let's stick with the basic title. I come over here, I grab my title and I put it below these two black bars, but above the video. I, I double click on the title and as you can see over here on the far right in the inspector window it's allowing me to manipulate it you can name this whatever you want to name it for these purposes I'll just put hope town because that's where I was in hope town so that's what I'm gonna put down seems simple enough now that you have your text on the screen you can use the inspector window to manipulate the text to make it look the way that you want it to look now you can see the left side of the text where the h is is kind of off it's like it's not level so for that all we do is make sure that the title is selected on the timeline and then we hit this button right here that is the transform button what that allows us to do is change the orientation of our text so this button here allows us to move it this way and if we wanted to we can use these to these the blue tabs there to make it bigger or smaller or do whatever we want to do here's a pro tip if you hold down shift you can change the orientation of the word or the text so now that we've gotten title you can press enter or done and now if we want to change the color we come down here to where it says face click show and now we can choose a color gold is always a good TV and video color so let's go with let's go with gold we can trim it back to the end of the clip and here's the finished product there you go you've successfully taken your edit from
from the basics to something a little bit more eye-catching and a little bit more dynamic okay here's that advanced technique that i said would be sure to blow your viewers away you have to download these sometimes you have to buy them sometimes they're free but overlays basically spice up your video and let me stop talking i'll just show you what it is so i've already downloaded these overlays they're in this video assets folder so let's take electricity for example let's see how we can get creative with this we're gonna take this electricity overlay and drag it on to our timeline now remember each time you drag an asset into your video it goes automatically into the events folder that's open at the time so that's just a little tip for you so I'm going to take this overlay and place it over the word Hope Town. And hopefully we can get the effect that lightning is striking above the water. And when it hits the water or in the general vicinity of the water, the word Hope Town comes up. It's going to take a little bit more manipulation, but this is the general idea. And you're going to notice that when I play the clip, you can't see anything underneath it. Here's what you do. Select the clip come over here to blend mode and instead of selecting normal what you want to do is select screen and when you select screen what happens is the background disappears and all you see is the animation or effect so I'm gonna expand my timeline and I'm gonna time it up to where I want it to be so it looks like lightning came down struck the water and the word hope town appeared it's pretty basic but it's also pretty cool imagine the things that you can do getting creative with that click this video right here to advance to the next class